This is a tutorial about how to use sculpting in Fusion. Um, I want to make a bicycle saddle somewhat like one of these. Um, and the interesting thing about this is it's a form that's quite hard to define. Um, we know what a bike saddle looks like, but it's not really made out of extrudes and revolves and things like that. Um, so we need to use this new tool called sculpting. Um, and I'm going to make something that looks a bit like this. So, you know, it's um, a start on making a bike saddle. Um, OK, so what I'm going to do, um, normally we would start by creating a sketch and then uh, turning that sketch into some kind of three-dimensional um, object. Instead, I'm going to start straight away with a three-dimensional object. So I click this button here called Create Form. And I enter a new environment and you can see this new toolbar at the top of the page. I'll hit OK. Um, we'll go through what some of the tools do. Obviously, uh, construction, inspecting um, and the selection options are similar to what they were before. And in fact, the sketch options are similar to what they were before, but we don't use them as much. But what I'm going to do first is use this create option here. Um, and if I click on create, actually, I'm just going to cancel that. I want to show you the drop downs. Um, there are various things that I can create. And in particular, these seven shapes here or seven three dimensional objects here are relevant. Um, for now, I'm just going to start by creating a box. And I'm going to do that because a bicycle saddle looks a bit like that box that I can see right now, more so than it does a plane or a cylinder or a sphere or a torus, etc. Um, it doesn't matter that much. You can um, you can usually make um, the same object starting in various different ways, but quite often a box is a good start. So let's take a box. Um, I'm going to put it. I have to choose a plane that I want to put it on going to choose that plane there and then I'm going to drag out the box to be uh, let's make it 300 oh sorry that should have been um, 150 I think the way I wanted it and then I tab across to the other dimension and make that 300 uh, 300 something like that that'll do and I'm going to hit enter um, I'm actually just going to undo that um, because, and start again, um, uh, 150 by 300, 300, and um, the operation new body makes sense, and I can either make this symmetric or uh, one-sided. Um, Um, OK, well, I hit return and I've got this box now. Um, in fact, that's that's still not what I want. Um, so I'm managing to confuse myself here. Uh, uh, 150 by 300. Uh, we'll do it with the centre. I'm going to make it symmetric. Um, Perhaps the thing to do is to try and use my mouse a bit more than I've been doing. Um, the thing that's frustrating me here is... Ah, this is the menu that I wanted. Um, I can do various things using this menu. Um, and I was surprised that I didn't get this option box before, but I've got it now. So what you want to do is type in that 150 and that 300 and then click with the mouse rather than hitting return. Um, this set of options is how we're setting up our initial shape. And it's um, important to get this right early on. You can't necessarily change all of these things later because once you've started to sculpt, it no longer makes sense to define a height or a width or a length of a box, for example. Um, one other thing that I'm going to do on display settings, I'm just going to turn on um, the edges. And then I can see that this box has been divided up into a set of faces. And each of those faces I'm going to be able to move around and play around with. 
so that's useful um, and in fact it might be useful to have a few more faces so I'm going to say make uh, four in each direction like that maybe I'll go with three there it doesn't matter you can choose what you like um, and a lot of what we do in this tutorial is going to involve kind of playing around with things to see what works for you um, the next thing that I want to do and in fact the last thing I want to do on this box is that we need some symmetry um, the bike saddle has symmetry along its length so whatever happens here should be mi mirrored here it doesn't have the other two kinds of symmetry so I won't add them in um, it doesn't have vertical symmetry or width symmetry but that symmetry that I marked on is good and we're going to want that and I think I can click OK um, now the next thing that I can do here is to start editing this form and moving things around. Sculpting in general is about um, dragging things around, making um, repeated adjustments until you have roughly the shape you want. Whereas with um, traditional modeling it's easy to write down a, a set of step-by-step -step instructions. With sculpting I feel like you kind of have to do it more by observation and, and uh, by feel so watch what I'm doing here but don't try and repeat exactly the same things I do you'll have to do something similar but it'll be your own thing um, if I click edit form and then I choose one of these faces I get this set of options I'm going to show you what each of these things do in turn first of all um, the arrows allow me to slide things in one direction you can see that the symmetry plane means the same things getting reflected onto the other side um, but that's what the arrows do the boxes mean I'm sliding in two directions or two dimensions um, just gonna undo that uh, control Z always undoes again two dimensions undo two dimensions undo so that gives you some uh, ability to ad adjust things as well um, these lines here mean I can expand my box in one dimension if I use these corner ones uh, like here I can expand my box in two dimensions uh, or two dimensions that's actually slightly clearer um, and I think I've undone all of that now and then the last thing is if I want to expand my box in three dimensions I'd use that tool there it'll be clear what all of that means when you need it but it's just to show you that there are a bunch of different ways you can uh, manipulate each face you can also select multiple faces so if I do this um, dragging from right to left as I've just done means it will select each face that I overlap so it selected all these faces marked in blue and then the yellow is showing me the same thing will be mirrored on the far side and now if I go to modify that um, I can expand that whole section out for example in fact that's kind of got some aspects which are similar to uh, how bike seats are made so it might be useful to remember that um, but for the moment I'm not going to uh, if I dragged from left to right then I only get the sections which are completely enclosed or the faces which are completely enclosed by what I'm doing so sometimes dragging from right to left is useful it gives you um, everything you touch dragging from left to right just gives you everything you completely enclose um, two different ways to do things okay now let's look and try and make this into a bike saddle and just see how we get on um, the first thing I'm going to do is just try and take uh, this corner here just shrink it in a bit and you can see already that looks a lot more like a bike saddle than it did before so I'm pretty happy with that uh, that seems good and in fact I could um, move this section in as well uh, that's starting to look like a bike saddle or perhaps if I just undo that one perhaps what I should have done is to take in you'll notice I was able to click on faces or lines or points and manipulate each of those again trial and error 
uh, seeing what works and what doesn't work but something like that seems okay and then I am just going to take this point here in a bit um, okay well that's starting to look like a bike seat typically now I think um, uh, maybe if I just take everything at the front there and actually what I'm going to do is just shrink it that looks pretty good um, okay I'm not sure what went wrong there I'll just uh, try and redo that um, let's just see what happens if I do something like that that's kind of making it like a bike saddle I would say I'm happy enough with that at this stage it's no bad thing just to go back and look at um, uh, just some images of bike saddles uh, so they have this kind of long flat sided bit at the front and then a bulging bit at the back um, I still feel like maybe I have um, I need more pinching I'm holding down control here to select a number of um, points something like that um, and I'm really just sort of working through trying to find ways to make this look more like a bike seat now um, if I take uh, these bits here uh, and um, pull them all upwards slightly does that make it more like a bike seat well maybe and in fact in fact I'll undo that because what I really want I think is to take these panels and shrink them slightly uh, okay happy with that and finally they tend to sort of curve up at the back a bit uh, if I take those two and um, pull them up like that that starts to look more like a bike seat and these ones here um, again maybe I just pull them up something like that how does that look that's starting to look to me uh, like a bicycle saddle and I mean one of the things that becomes completely clear is you can spend all day trying to improve things and make them more like what you want um, yeah that's not bad I don't know how comfortable it would be but um, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it um, just try and do a bit more rotation on these uh, one thing I forgot to say these um, three options here allow you to rotate things so if I rotate that what I get is a sort of narrower at the front and um, wider at the back and I think maybe um, bike saddles are actually a bit this <laughs> this is where you just keep on adjusting things forever without really um, deciding that it's good enough but I would maybe pull that back a bit as well um, does that look like a bike seat uh, yes although it's got this problem here um, what I'm just going to try doing is saying finish form I think it's going to tell me I can't finish form and I think it's going to be because of this problem zone where things have started to overlap and indeed that's correct um, you'll see something failed to convert and there are various problems so I'm going to hit return um, and it says edges or faces may be crossing what, what's probably happened here is that some parts of this seat have ended up um, going across the line of symmetry and the software has struggle uh, has problems interpreting that but what we can do if you go to display mode and then you choose box display you can see the um, the structure of the whole thing as a series of 
boxes that started out as cuboids and then it's easier to see where all your edges have gone. So my problem is that these lines here have crossed but if I now say modify just that line there and I pull it back that way and click OK then we've got uncrossing again. Similarly I think I'd quite like to um, fix whatever's happened here. Um, these lines have crossed so I can say OK take that point modify it and pull it back that way take that point and pull it back that way um, what's happened here I'm just trying to tidy everything up a bit uh, let's just see what happens if I take that point and pull it a long way back does that make things neater I suppose it does yes but then there's still this point which probably needs to come back as well. That now looks much better. Um, there aren't too many things that are crossing that I didn't want to cross. Uh, that And that's really what I'm looking for is anything that crosses the line of symmetry. Um, OK, um, I'm going to hit OK and now I go back and I see whether that still looks like the bike saddle I wanted it to look like. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. There's this, these faces here are maybe a bit too far out. Um, so I'll just try bringing them in again a bit. Um, but that's basically a bike seat. Um, and I don't want to spend several hours just um, adjusting everything over and over again. Now I'm going to hit finish form again. I'm more hopeful this time that it'll work and it does, that's good news. And so now we're back in the modeling mode um, and I've got this slightly complicated three-dimensional shape um, that I wouldn't have been able to made, make using the, the previous standard tools we've made in the modeling mode. Um, just to show you a couple of things uh, down in the um, list of actions I can find that I made this form and I can go back and right click on the form itself click edit and I could go back and edit again and then finish the form again so that's all still available as before um, the whole thing is one body in this uh, in the document tree and I can work now with that just like I would with any other body um, so that's there the last thing that I want to do um, because it's one body I'm going to change its physical material and actually in here uh, if I go to fabric there are all these different kinds of leather or at least one different kind of leather I'm going to put on weathered leather on there easy to say uh, or not um, and that now starts to look quite like a bike seat I could go to uh, render it and um, I might be able to find more finishes. Uh, there's, there's some leather and cloth finishes there I could use or I could look on the internet for more. Um, I'm just going to change the setup. These colors in the background are always quite dark. So something like 230, 230, 230 can be good um, where it's not quite so dark. And I was thinking about moving the light source around. I won't for now. I'll just jump straight to doing a render of that. And that's coming up quite nicely. And we end up with something that is recognizably a, a bike seat. Um, and of course you can play around with that and make the bike seat exactly as you want it. Um, so uh, that's how you do sculpting. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll look at a more complicated shape. Good luck!